The other focus this evening is about hoarding realities after the collapse in Mumbai. After that collapse in which 16 people lost their lives, there are now reports of another hoarding that has collapsed in Maharashtra's Pimpri Chinchwad area outside of Pune at around 4.30 p.m. today. A huge hoarding fell down in that area according to reports, but fortunately no casualties being reported. The Pimpri Chinchwad municipality officials uh, have uh, informed that the holding was being removed with the help of cranes and vehicles. That's the fallen holding has been removed with the help of cranes and vehicles stuck underneath were also being lifted out. My colleague Paris Dama joins us. Uh, Paris, just give us a quick update on what you're hearing from authorities. Uh, hi, uh, hello. The incident happened at 4.30 at Pimpri Chichwara today in Pune. Uh, after Mumbai incident, it is uh, another incident which has happened in Maharashtra. The billboard fell down and uh, there are many vehicles which has been stuck inside, but there are no casualties, casualties over there. The uh, holding installed was at the Jai Ganesh Chowk in Pimpri, uh, which has fallen, but the, uh, uh, the better thing is that there is no casualty, there was no one, uh, there is no uh, human inside that uh, big giant board which has fallen. Only few vehicle has been stuck over there and no casualties has been reported till now. Right. Right. Thanks very much there, Paris. We'll keep a close track. But remember, it's not just Mumbai or Pimpri Chinchwad. The focus after this tragic case is across Indian cities and whether hoardings and especially the illegal ones, which are often owned and run by mafias, which flout norms brazenly, like it was seen in the Mumbai case, are being acted against. Chennai City has begun a crackdown on hoardings. Over 450 have been removed. My colleagues, Pratibha Raman and Sam Daniel, do a status check of hoarding realities in both Bengaluru and Chennai. The Greater Chennai Corporation has launched a crackdown on unauthorized or illegal hoardings across Chennai. We come to you from the radial road and the Chennai Corporation has so far removed 460 what it calls unauthorized holdings. In fact, 250 of them have been completely uprooted as the structural stability of these holdings were very, very weak. In fact, it's a two-pronged attack or crackdown, authorities say. One is to identify illegal holdings across Chennai. Two, subject them to safety as well as structural stability audit. And then take a call on removing them fully or partially. Thirdly, they are looking for such structures in public places like petrol stations, bus and rail stations, and also flyovers like this. And even holdings which are under court litigation, authorities say, will not be spared and they also are being subjected to structural stability audit and then they will take a call on that. In fact, Chennai launched a crackdown on illegal holdings more than 10 years ago when the city was dotted by hundreds of illegal holdings everywhere. And then it was a big danger, particularly during cyclone times, as these holdings got blown away, causing damages to property and life as well. Later, there was a change in culture. Advertisers switched to wall paintings to advertise their products and services. And now, over the last few years, again, there is a mushrooming of illegal structures, particularly digital holdings. And now, after the Mumbai tragedy clicks, the Chennai Corporation authorities are not taking any chances and they are tracking down. When it comes to holdings, one cannot forget the tragedy that was witnessed in Mumbai. I'm here in the center of the city, like Bengaluru, where we are trying to question whether there is a catastrophe like that waiting to happen. Bengaluru has already witnessed heavy rains and gusty winds, and according to reports, we are told that over 180 trees have already been uprooted. Now, who will talk about illegal hoardings that are here lining up most streets in Bengaluru? The maximum size that is allowed as per uh, rules is that of 800 square meters. 
Now there are many illegal hoardings, not just in the BBMP limits, but even outside the BBMP limits. I'm talking about places like Huzur, Electronic City, as well as closer to the airport and Tumkuru Road, where such illegal hoardings are witnessed and nobody bothers to question them. Now, a simple hoarding like this that you see over the building, which is illuminated, which is an LED hoarding, a structure like this to be erected. One needs the permission of the traffic police as well as the structural engineer to determine the stability of this building. As, as you look at this building, you can easily assess that this building is at least over a hundred years old. Now, who will talk about the stability of this building? That simply shows that no proper documents are in place when it comes to putting up structures like these, putting up hoardings like these. When we talk to the BBMP, the BBMP, which is the civic body here in Bengaluru, has promised to take some action to determine these illegal hoardings or take stock of these illegal hoardings. Now, this has been something that we have seen from 2018. Now we are in 2024. Will it still be only on paper or will we see some action on ground? These are some of the questions that are being posed, especially after what was witnessed in Mumbai. We do not want another tragedy like this in Bengaluru. I remember several of the holdings there on those pictures could well have clearance from the authorities. We're talking about those that have flouted norms, uh, which will have to be investigated and cracked down on by the authorities. That's all we have time for on the Southern View this evening.